Okay, hi Mark, how you doing? I've got your got your banner pad up here. Okay, good writing, thank you very much for that. Let's jump over here. Take a look at the banner. Well, let's look at the magazine ad first. So we talked about this. I think the magazine ad is clean. It's good. I like it. I think it's working out very, very well. Um, as we take a look at the transition to the banner ad, there's a couple of things. Let me just get that in. Okay, a couple of things I, I want to comment on, and I think they're going to make really good sense to you. So the first thing that I see is that the mask image from assignment 2-1 um, has not been included in the banner in it. That is a requirement, so be sure to, to include that. The next thing I see is if we take a look at the colors here, I'm not real sure if this is just the way that, uh, that uh, it, it's being rendered, but it looks like these colors are different. Take a look at your headline. In the banner, and then to compare the color to the headline in the magazine edit, we can see some pretty considerable differences. Even take a look at the uh, banner ad. Um, I'm sorry, the logo for the magazine ad as compared to the logo for the banner ad. That that color is completely different. So I'm not exactly sure how that happened, or, but take a look and you know, do some troubleshooting, try to figure out why that is the case. Um, and then definitely, you want those colors to be consistent. I think the logo in the banner ad is a little too large. I, mean, I would shoot for something like this. If you keep an eye on my cursor, it doesn't have to be that large. I mean, it's taking up almost a third of the page. You've got this gorgeous image in the background, but you've got a boy, a good sixth of it is covered up by the, the logo. So that might not be the most advantage situation to be in at this point. So I, re I recommend reducing the size of the logo. Um, the next thing in terms of uh, a good cohesive flow um, between the magazine and the banner ad is the fact that the banner ad is using completely different ver uh, verbiage than the magazine ad. As we can see, the, the headline for banner ad is Life's a Beach, but not anymore. But the headline for the banner is, okay, so headline is Life's a Beach. Headline for the banner is Congrats on Your Retirement. Subhead is But Not Anymore. Our subhead here is Come Celebrate With Us. So there is definitely a disconnect here in the, the message that's being sent forth, and I think that should be addressed. I would include Life's a Beach, but not anymore, as your headline and subhead in your banner ad. Um, I would recommend uh, left uh, placing the Life's a Beach right about here somewhere, okay, right where that's starting, but take the subhead, but not anymore. You, you can even indent that down a little bit further, bring it in a little further into the ad. The subhead left the line with the headline, okay? So you have Life's a Beach, but not anymore. Then right in this area, you want to fade in and then fade out your, your call to action. So in other words, don't animate the headline in the subhead because you want there to be meaning in this banner at any time a viewer takes a look at it. So imagine if the viewer looks in right now. There's there, All it says is free, inclusive upgrade. There's no real information. So for that reason, we want there to be that meaning at any time the viewer looks at the banner. So I would recommend uh, fading, I'm sorry, keeping your headline and your subhead static. Don't animate it, okay? So life's a beach, but not anymore. Then fade in your call to action. Don't just elude the fact that there is a free inclusive upgrade. Um, you know, give a little bit more information. For example, uh, seven day, let me see. You know, I, actually, I think that's okay. That is okay. Just saying that uh, that is a call to action, free, inclusive upgrade. Just try to say something like when you act now or or book soon or book by October 31st and receive a free all-inclusive upgrade. I'm, I'm not real sure how you had that, uh, in the verbiage indicated in the uh, magazine, but try to, to duplicate that so that it is actually a call to action. Um, you don't have to include the location, but I would down here, I would say something about uh, uh, located in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands or something like that. Okay, those are my recommendations for moving forward. I would like to see those changes uh, applied to the work for your final submission. And uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to let me know. Thank you very much.